I'm at Union Station today to check out the radioactive tiles here. Now you may be thinking that this is in a place that would have radioactive tiles, but you would be wrong. These colorful tiles are radioactive because it has uranium in the glaze. Now these tiles aren't radioactive, but they look very similar to the ones that are radioactive. And the reason for that is because these are reproductions. They don't have any uranium in them, but these ones do. It's always a good way to check the authenticity of objects that are made during that time period, especially ceramics. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good, man. You working with a historical project or something? You just a tourist? I'm just uh, filming the tiles here. You good? Yeah. Yeah, you know they use a little bit of uranium in here. Oh, they do? Yeah, so I have a Geiger counter that. Oh, so it's wow. Legit. Wow, uranium. Yeah, is, so, is that what's used to kind of make weapons? Yeah, like some of these tiles are reproductions. So, okay. like the originals will actually be radioactive. Radioactive? Yeah. Is, is this radioactive? Well, this one over here is. And then that's what the front of the building is, too. Does that, does that like cause cancer? Hey, you're eating it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna eat it though. No. You're good, you're good. Thanks, man. I just figured you might be a tourist or something, or maybe working with a historical society. No, 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 no. I'm just kind of like documenting like the different tiles around here and Thank stuff like that. Up, so, you're good. thanks, man. Now, this is kind of a different color to find radioactive, but it doesn't surprise me. They seem to be able to work uranium into almost any type of place, in my experience. Just let you know, man, like, like these ones over here, okay. that, those are radioactive. Oh, it's wow. like the, usually it's normally like oranges and reds, but over there it's like the blue and like kind of gray. I see. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, man. no problem, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Learn something new every day. Yes, sir. <laughs> these tan tiles were a little more radioactive than the green or that light blue. And this is probably because these tiles have a little more uranium in the glaze than those others do. This bench was pretty cool. It was a nice tile design and it was a tad bit radioactive. Nothing too bad. Of course, I have also seen people sleeping on these benches. And I'm not sure what the long-term effects would be of sleeping right up against tiles like these, even though they aren't too terribly radioactive. People do not know that these are radioactive, and I wonder how they would behave if they knew that they were. Would they use them to sit on, or would they try and avoid them? Now this is the other design of tile that is inside a Union Station. It's kind of the same thing with that light blue, or gray whatever you want to call it, that's radioactive. And these line the entire inside of Union Station. So there's no shortage of radioactive tiles in this place. You aren't going to be affected at all by the radiation that comes off these tiles. First off, the radiation isn't that intense, and it only travels about six feet in the open air until it completely dissipates to the point of background radiation. Again, nothing dangerous. Just happens to be radioactive. Not sure what this guy's problem was, but he was not happy with security. This kind of went on back and forth for a good 10 minutes. Now these tiles may look exactly the same as the other ones that were outside, but I believe that these ones were actually reproductions, and that's why they weren't radioactive. But of course, the ones right next to it are radioactive. A lot of the radiation coming off of these tiles is alpha and beta radiation. Alpha radiation can only travel a couple inches in air, 
but beta radiation, which is basically like a free electron moving close to the speed of light, can travel up to six feet away from these tiles. And the reason why it gets stopped is because it is slamming into air molecules. And that's usually why you can't detect it past six feet. Usually. So this is the area where they filmed a lot of movies and it's actually roped off so people can't walk around inside of it. And of course, there's radioactive tiles right next to this area. This tile pattern lines the entire walls of the inside of Union Station. And a vast majority of these tiles are radioactive. Again, like I've said so many times before, they aren't dangerous unless you are sleeping on them or eating them in some fashion. As you can see from this plaque, Union Station was built in 1939. And given that date, it's no wonder that so many of these tiles were radioactive. It's kind of crazy. There's a lot, of, a lot of drama inside of there with who knows what. I'm just here to check out radioactive tiles. <laughs> you gotta film until you get kicked out, which I just did for that time lapse. <laughs> Thank you. Don't film me over here. I won't. I will not. Uh-huh. 